What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No Premium, back with another episode of the Two Minute Drill. Guys, today, today I told you if you took any day off this week, it would be today. We all know we had Daddy P come out at 2 p.m., and holy shit, did the market not disappoint. Let's just take a quick look. Let's just take a look at what happened. This is Daddy P. Do you now understand why I tell you that if you were going to take today off, today would have been the day, right? I also told you that at some point there will be a move at the open and then we will come down and test some sort of support or a, or a level that we will likely bounce from and not break down from. So if you're in the world's wealth, we took the calls here. But something I want to note, right? We played a zero date call. Okay, we played a zero date call that a bounce off of this 410 level, right? And got back to the highs, two points should have produced a astounding move on the contracts that we bought, but it didn't. Why? Because the IV was heavily, heavily raised, right? We got them at like one or 110. They went to 130, 140, 150. On a zero date, those should have been two, 300, 400%. So now you can understand when there is a big event like this, like the FOMC, premiums get elevated and trading conditions are not ideal. Okay, they are not ideal. However, we had all of this fuckery happen, right? All of this only to end up where? Bouncing off of yesterday's low a day. Got it marked right here. Okay, so enough of that being said hope you guys all crushed it i hope you didn't do anything fucking stupid today but let's take a look at this daily chart really quickly we can see a test into that major supply level and we are down down about eight points from there what happens tomorrow i have no idea but if today was any forecast they must have not liked what pal said or whatever right or whatever it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter what he said it just matters how the market reacted to it Right. So we could see here today, we're still under the 821 EMA. Right. And we closed down at yesterday's low for the most part. Now, until tomorrow, what should we expect for tomorrow? We can see we have a ton of pre market data. Will it move the market? It can. Will it move it significantly? Significantly? I don't know. But we could see, I think the, the jobless claims will be the big data print that we'll be looking at tomorrow. Don't forget, we also have the behemoth. Apple reporting after hours tomorrow. We do have some other names reporting, but I really think the whole market is only going to be looking for Apple. They're only going to be waiting for Apple. So tomorrow, I think we do get some more balance or some more ranging and tough trading. Just being quite frank with you while we wait for Apple, right? While we wait for Apple. So we got pre-market data. We got Apple after hours. Let's take it down to the one hour chart. Let's see what we've got in store. Well, we know what? What do we know? that this damn balance level we don't want to get away from, right? This balance level, we could see it. We talk about it over and over and over. We don't want to get out of it. We got to look above and fail. We got a fake breakdown, look above and fail right back into it. Now we're down about 11 handles ES right now. That really doesn't mean shit until the morning. Okay, but let's talk about a trade plan for tomorrow. Okay, we'll zoom it in here, right? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. That 412 served as some resistance today. Uh, top of the balance zone. We all know that. We ended up selling off and closing pretty much right at the bottom of the balance. We had a little bit more sell. I'm sorry. We started, We closed down here towards the balance. We had a little more sell after hours, but right now it's not really doing anything. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. As long as we stay above 406, we will stay in the balance zone. We will stay in the balance zone. So for tomorrow, unless 406 breaks and we get a higher low in there that's really going to be the short the higher low let's say we open in this area we go down and we test a higher low meaning we don't want to get back up a, a, above 406 then you'll want to ride that down to that 404 which happens to be the previous week low we got it marked here on the chart you can see it okay you can see it if that does give way you'll target that 402 and then three three ninety eight fifty ish area 400 might give us a little trouble it's a psych level but at each one of those levels, I think we could get a decent bounce, right? I think we get a decent bounce. Let's go to the four hour. Let's go to the four hour. Okay, you can see dating back why those levels would, would get a bounce, right? We can see 
We bounce out of this level at 402, 401, 50, 402 before. There's probably some leftover demand. And then there's a major gap here to be filled to 398. Uh, I'm sorry, at 398.50, that would take us down to around 396. So game plan tomorrow. Watch this 407. Wow. Watch this four. Are you out of here? What is happening? We're going to watch this 406 level depending where we open. Okay. Any any uh bounces or or buyers into it, if we open above, look for a bounce there. If we open below, look for a reject there. Okay. That'll be the game plan down there. I'll be watching that level at 406. We can see we bounced here in this. Uh, Pretty much we sold off after hours, but I believe we opened in this area, right? So watch the 406 area. You want to see a bounce off it. You'll take it long. If not, break and hold. You'll want to get a higher low. Okay, and ride that down to 404 and then down to 4150-ish, 402. I think we could get a bounce there, especially at 398.50. If for some reason we open above, where are we going to target? Let's target that area, right, that we basically broke down from today, which were the lows. They were the lows, Okay. Before we broke through them, 410, above 410 target, 412, 41250, you could call it either way. Above there, we go up and test that supply. But it really looks like what? It looks like we are failing this supply so far. So if we do get lower, we have this 50 MA. We, we're under the 20 MA right here at 411. We're under the 8, which is a solid yellow. We're under the 21, which is solid red, right? Do we just go get a bounce now down here at this 50 MA, which is right where? 40, we call it 403. Pretty much uh, previous week lows anywhere in there. I'd be looking for an initial reaction. All right. Okay, guys, we know we had a decent move down. Do we get a balance there with Apple? Do we not? We don't know. We don't know. So just play it level by level. Okay, that's it, guys. Wake up early. Get your levels right. And, of course, don't do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you bright and early. Peace.